Is it common knowledge among intelligence agencies that Barack Obama is not an American, but indeed a foreign agent? Yes. Yes. But do the other agencies know who he works for? Yes. Yeah, they do. And and you think that answer is Saudi Arabia? Well, I know that to be true. And that's why Breitbart, Hastings, and Tom Clancy are dead. Mm -hmm. Okay, Breitbart, no doubt in my mind, taken out. He bragged. I liked Andrew Breitbart, but what he did was incredibly stupid. Really dumb. He bragged the day before his death that in the morning he was going to reveal shocking information that would stop the Obama campaign. And that... Mr. Breitbart dropped dead walking home at night yeah. and turned his his corpse was blood red. Uh, brighter than that, actually. But uh, the point the point is that he caused the death of Hastings and Tom Clancy because he'd been sharing data with them. There's a connection between Breitbart's death and Hastings and Clancy. All of them. Yeah, all of them. Um, because of the information that Breitbart gave to Tom Clancy, uh, he was working on a novel that would have exposed Obama as a Saudi agent, a Saudi uh, plant uh, in the White House. Well, he knew exactly who Obama was, and he was going to release it by in character form in a book. Mm-hmm. Uh, the character was going to be this president of the United States who was a plant. It was going to be the real, real information about Obama was going to come out in the form of a novel. Mm-hmm. And you think this would have been, again, that he was a Saudi Arabian plant? Yes, oh, absolutely. It's sad. But, you know, Breitbart and his big mouth, man, he caused all those deaths in the end. Do you think it was arsenic? No, no, another poison altogether. That's why they didn't post the bodies for five days. That's why the guy who took the blood work did the blood work and knew the poison that had been used on Breitbart. That's why he was killed. On the morning that the autopsy was supposed to be released. You got it.